Hello everybody, Bloodspitting Lizard back again. Welcome to part 98 of Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. As I promised, something pretty interesting is about to happen. So, let's observe. We, in the last video, we beat Veltarn. It's so difficult to see. Someone's there! Guess who? It's Drachma. He's back. Oh. Oh. I don't believe it! Huh? Who's there? He's back. He's... Drachma is not dead, and he's here. Captain! What are you kids doing here? It really is you. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah, well, uh... It's been a while, Captain. <laughs> I had a feeling you survived the attack. But, Captain, what are you doing at the bottom of Glacia? Hmm... Told you something of interest. However... Unfortunately, also, something very, very, very sad is also happening here. What? No, it's not! It is... Ragnum. It's... it is! What's Ragnum doing here? Hmm... Follow me. Notice that... Dragma is a fish in his hand. Is... is he dead? No, he's still alive. But he was badly ruined by Ramirez's ships. It is a fatal room. Ragnum is dying. Eh? What do we have here? It's a giant red eye. When Ragnum fled from Ramirez, I got pulled along. If I wasn't attached to him, the little jack would have been destroyed. This is his... home. Captain, you mean to tell me that you've been alone here with Ragnum the whole time? I... Is that? Wait, look, that's light! Take a... What, is, is that the moon crystal? It must be, which will mean that this arc whale, Ragnum, is the purple gigas. <gasps> I can't believe that Ragnum is the purple gigas. But the name of the purple gigas is Plurgoth. According to the legend, the citizens of the purple civilization implanted the purple crystal into a living creature. Then, that means that Ragnum was once a normal arc whale? Yes. I think after Ragnum had been transformed to the purple gigas, his master perished, and he had been wandering the skies ever since. So the poor arc whale was also a victim of the war. But Captain, why did you stay here all that time? If Little Jack is here with you, why didn't you leave? I spent my life searching for Ragnum to avenge my crew and my son. I wasted all those years. Ragnum freed me from Rivera. I, I just thought I could watch over for him in his last moments. It's the least I can do. Agree. Why is he making that noise? I, I'm not sure. What's wrong? I'm here for you. This isn't good. Look, at his eye! Correct them. I see. It's time for you to go. Time for you to join your friends. Goodbye. This has to be one of the most saddest moments in this entire game. Heck, it even even make me shed a tear. Only a little, though. Oh no. Look, the crystal. However, there is some goodness from this, of course. Now. The crystal is ours. I'm sorry, Captain. 
Receive the Purple Moon Crystal. I mean, compared to the artificial arm. I don't know, maybe all of a sudden say that, but yeah. But indeed, very sad moment. Oh look, it's Little Jack. Haven't seen that in a very, very long time. Well, it was nice seeing Drachma again. Captain, are you really going to leave us? Hmm. Jason racked him with my reason for a living. And now I've got to start over. When you're as old as me, it's not you to change your ways. I I'm sorry, but I cannot go with you. Hi, are you sure we should let him go? Of course we should let him go. Uh-huh. Yeah, we should just let him go. I can't imagine what he's going through right now. Captain, we finally met up again. But I guess this is goodbye. Oh, boy. You've become quite a sailor. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's a little strange to hear compliments coming from you. Captain, before you go, there's something I want to tell you. You said that you and Rackham were both alone. But you're not alone, Captain. We've been with you the whole time. No matter how far apart we become, we'll still be sailing in the same sky. Same skies, the same clouds, the same wind. We'll always be together in one way or another. We'll never forget you. Captain, take care of yourself. I wish you all the luck in the world. Captain, you better finish with us on Crescent Isle. And then Dracula said to himself, What the hell is a Crescent Isle? <laughs> Good boy. Maybe I will. Someday. Farewell. And now, we once again say goodbye to Captain Drachma. Spoiler alert, this is not the last time we see him. But now, we're done in the land of ice. Time to return to Crescent Isle. Think we can get there by going southeast. As I've specified, there are two important things here. Okay, we can't go southeast because of the Dark Rift. First of all, one of the four giant monsters required to get the rank Sky Battle King Vice. As a matter of fact, it's this right there. <laughs> but, uh, I don't care about that. I just want to finish this playthrough. On top of that, another person who's in the wanted list, known as Daiko Kuya, the wealthy, also in this area. Same situation. Excuse me. That was a close one, as Aika just said. And Aika has learned Pyrum. I think next time I get into a battle, I'm gonna switch everybody to blue now. Anyway, let's head back to Crescent Isle. I'll meet you there. Hey guys, before we head back to Crescent Isle, why don't we pay a visit to Doc? Hi. Cause we've got a bunch of moonfish to give him. Of course, every time. Of course, this never changes, with the exception of a couple of things that'll happen as it gets bigger and bigger a little bit later. Wait, Mantle. Gem of fluidity. I believe we have more. At some point, that egg show on his head is going to disappear. Sky Sardis. What am I gonna 
do a 50 fish. This is it. Hey, Bites, look, something different about him. What's wrong? Transformation. I don't know, he looks different for some reason. Of course, this still is not going to change. Let's continue spitting stuff out. Our Valor. Perfect. Do I have any more? Yeah, we do. But we'll feed him. We'll continue feeding him next time. Let's get an answer out.